Family, what's going on? We got a legit check on deck. These shoes came through in a Facebook trade through the group. And yeah, legit check them. I just want you guys to give me your opinions. Take a look at this shoe. That's the kid on the left pair. Here's the one on the right pair. Take a look at this Superman logos. Take a look at the the white lining that goes around the top. That's one of the things you want to watch out for. You want to make sure that's nice and thick up there. And you can see that from the front. You want to make sure the Superman logo stretches out to the edges of the patch. That looks good. You want to make sure these arrows on the shoe go all the way around the whole shoe, including the back. You want to make sure those arrows go all the way down. Make sure they don't stop and leave no space back here. See how they go all the way around? Take a look at the jump man. Take a look at the pull tabs in the back. You want to make sure they're nice and defined. Back there, you can see all those. Um, what else? The Air Jordans upside down behind the tongue. I don't know what else you guys want to see or need to see. The bottoms are yellow. They've been worn a bunch. Let's see if I can get a picture of the tag. It's coming off a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to really get it. The date says 6-08-2011 to 8-31-2011. And so the one hall. <clears throat> hey, you guys, you know, everything I was looking, everything looks good, right? I'm gonna show you the one thing though that's uh, the box you even got a stamp on it right here. Paper, I don't know about the paper, looks a little too, I don't know, almost too good. Too white for a shoe this old. But hey, you never know. The thing that really blew me off was this. Now the seller says this is the OG box. Okay, you got a little sticker on there. That's cool. But take a look at the label. Dun -dun. This label is really throwing me off because I know this isn't how the label should look. I don't know if you're even catching it on the camera, but this label looks like somebody printed it off their computer. I don't know if you, the camera's going to catch it. It's like the quality of the label. It looks like it's been printed off a computer in hand. Like, I know this isn't how the laser bolt is supposed to look. Like, this is what really has, like, got me, like, whoa. I mean, he says this is the OG box. I'm thinking they just lost the label. The label got ripped off, and they made this one. You know, they made a replica label. That's what I'm thinking, because he has this little sticker. And the quality of the sticker almost looks like the same type of quality as this label. But 
you guys let me know. Maybe you see something else that I didn't see. Another flaw on the shoe that I didn't pick up on. Just want to get you guys' opinions. And at the same time, educate some of you guys out there. I know you guys missed these videos I used to do. The real versus fake. So I thought I'd try to bring you guys these ones. Just do little legit checks. Check out Isaiah with the afro. It's going from the small to the big. And then make sure you got to make sure you see those two. Uh, his eyebrow is like cut in half on the right one. So you want to make sure it's going to small to big on the front when the eyebrow is cut in half on the right side. It has to be the same thing over here. Small to big. Make sure his eyebrow is cut on the right side. That's pretty much the tongue lining. I thought it could have been a little bit thicker. I've seen pairs where it's like you know, that white comes down a little further. See that white? I've seen pairs where it looks a little thicker on the top there. If you guys give me your opinion. Real or fake? Real and fake box? Fake and fake box? Real box, fake shoes, all of it's real. <laughs> Let me know. Or real shoes, real box, but fake label. I'm going to hot you guys later. Hit that thumbs up for your boy. Peace.